I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to remove hard earwax. Now, in medicine, we call earwax cerumen, and in most cases, earwax is good for ears. It serves an important protective function. It both serves a physical barrier against dirt, insects, and other things that might harm the ear canal or eardrum. It also serves as a chemical barrier against bacteria. One of the things that can cause swimmer's ear or an outer ear infection is actually not having enough earwax to protect the inside of the ear. In some people, earwax tends to get dry and hard and may form a blockage of the ear. This dry, hard wax can be very uncomfortable and very difficult to remove. So the first step is to soften the wax. Now, there are a few ways to do this. There are over-the-counter preparations like Debrox. You can use docusate sodium, which is usually used as a laxative. Or you can even use mineral oil or baby oil. I would advise against using vegetable oils like olive oil because it can sit in the ear and go rancid. It may cause infection as well. Uh, using this over a period of days or a week or two will help soften the wax and it may ride out on its own. The ear canal is very special in that the skin of the canal, this is the part that you can see, actually moves outward as it grows and it'll carry earwax with it and that's why most people don't get earwax impactions. Now, if you still think you've got a hard mass of earwax in the ear, you really want a doctor's help. You never want to use a Q-tip or cotton swab in the ear. That's only going to have a ramrod effect and push that wax farther back. It's not usually going to get more wax out than it pushes in. The doctor will be able to look inside the ear and make sure that there's no damage to the inside of the ear canal or the eardrum as he or she removes the wax. Sometimes we use a fluid if we know that the eardrum is intact. We might flush that wax out. We might try and go after it with a curette like this. Or an ear, nose, and throat specialist might even have a special suction tip that he or she can use to remove the blocked up wax. So if you have hard wax, remember, there are some over-the-counter and homemade remedies that can soften it. But if it's really causing pain or hearing loss, you're going to want a doctor to get a look and see what's going on and use professional instruments under close observation to make sure that it gets out the right way. Talking about removing hard earwax, I'm Dr. David Hill.